So I've been kind of thinking to myself the last couple of weeks, actually, and I've been kind of thinking that it may be best off if you actually probably don't install iOS 15 this year. And the main reason for this, as always, is because it just seems like it's a little bit more buggier than previous versions of software. Now, if you have an iPhone that already has iOS 15 installed, I don't really think it's a crazy big deal. I totally think staying on iOS 15 is okay for the most part. But if you're on iOS 14, I really don't see any massive reason to go to iOS 15 unless for some reason there's some specific reason why you have to go on that version of software. Now, the main problem I have with iOS 15 right now is actually with the amount of updates Apple's pushing out. Apple has been very, very slow with how they're pushing out updates. I know we're on iOS 15, you know, 0.3 RC, the release candidate just came out. But the problem with that is once 15.3 comes out, when are we going to get iOS 15.3.1? You know, it just doesn't seem like it's a very stable version of software from Apple because they're spending so much time in between these incremental updates. 15.2 came out like almost two months ago and 15.2.1 came out, you know, a week or two ago, but now 15.3 is coming out and it's still not even out. It's probably going to come out next week or the week after, but I would hate to be in a position where you're still stuck on these, you know, incremental versions of softwares when they're like months and months away from each other, which is so crazy. So if you're on iOS 14 right now and you're having a great time, it may make sense to honestly just stay on that version of software for just like a couple more months, maybe even wait until like, you know, two, three months from now and wait until the next version of software comes out from Apple, which is iOS 16, and then kind of see how that one goes. If anything, I would probably recommend waiting until 15.3 comes out and seeing what the consensus is there. In my opinion, my iPhone 13 Pro has been a pretty decent sport on iOS 15, I'm going to be honest. I haven't had any crazy issues. There's a lot of little weird things happening here and there, but it's been pretty okay. But I know on my iPhone 6s, my iPhone 8, my iPhone 8 Plus, and some other iPhones all across the board, it has been a pretty glitchy experience. The only iPhone that's been pretty solid was the iPhone SE first generation, which is so funny to me. All these other iPhones are very hit or miss, and again... If you're on iOS 14 and you're having a very stable good time, I would probably recommend staying there. If you're on iOS 15, then I would recommend keeping up with those updates. But if you aren't too super sure if you want to keep going on iOS 15 or not, I would probably recommend staying on iOS 14.8 for the time being, or 8.1, and just seeing how that goes for you. If you feel the need to update over the next couple versions of iOS 15, you know, bring massive security updates, then I'd recommend updating. But honestly, it just doesn't really make any sense to me. It was such a small update, it's not even funny. And it doesn't even make any sense to update at this point because there's still so many issues with iOS 15. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.